Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern HealthSpan. Today we'll have a look at a recent clinical trial of NMN in Japan. I found this study interesting because it was a placebo-controlled randomized trial with the participants who were older adults, and the measures were quite practical. For example, the sit-stand test and timed up and go. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper. Effect of 12-week intake of NMN on sleep quality, fatigue, and physical performance in older Japanese adults, a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study. One of the aims of the study was to look at whether the timing of taking NMN had an impact on the sleep quality, fatigue, and physical performance in older adults. There were 108 participants divided into four groups with 250 milligrams of NMN taken once a day for 12 weeks. Sleep quality was evaluated by the Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index and fatigue using a Japanese developed subjective questionnaire. They also ran some performance tests, grip strength, five times sit to stand, timed up and go and five meter habitual walk. There were significant improvements noted in the five times sit to stand and drowsiness and the NMN afternoon group had the largest effect size. In summary, NMN in the afternoon improved lower limb function and reduced drowsiness in older adults. Here are the details of the trial. As mentioned, there were 108 participants divided into four groups. So each group had 27 people. The groups were NMN in the morning, NMN in the afternoon, placebo in the morning, or placebo in the afternoon. The morning group just needed to take the supplement before midday. The afternoon group had to take it after 6 p.m. The participants were adult, age 65 and up. The dose was 250 milligrams of NMN per day for 12 weeks, taken as a tablet. First, we have sleep quality. There was no significant difference in sleep quality. There has been some speculation that NMN in the evening may disturb sleep and was one of my concerns. But this did not seem to be the case during this study, as although there was no some improvement, there was also no negative impact either. But there was significant effect if the supplement was taken in the afternoon for some of the scores, whether it was NMN or placebo. Although the afternoon NMN group did not see a significant change in sleep latency, daytime dysfunction, sleep quality, and the global score, this group did have the largest effect size for these metrics. For fatigue, drowsiness did see a significant improvement in the NMN PM group. And the group also had the largest effect size. Here is the actual data for fatigue, which was measured with a subjective questionnaire. First, here is my understanding of what these columns mean. The main effect of the group is the p-value when considering whether NMN or placebo was taken, while ignoring when it was taken. We are looking for a p-value of less than 0.05 to be significant. The main effect of time is whether it was important when the supplement was taken, not whether it was NMN or placebo. And the interaction is the combination of these two. So is the time and the nature of the supplement significant in combination? This is the afternoon NMN group, and we can see that the drowsiness did decrease from 10 to 7.9. This change was significant across the various groups. And the NMN PM group had the largest effect size. And finally, physical performance. The five times sit to stand test saw a significant improvement in the NMN PM group. This is the test of how long it takes a person sitting in a chair to stand up and sit down five times. The effect size of the improvement in the NMN PM group was also the largest. It also showed the largest effect size in the timed up and go test. The timed up and go test is the time it takes to stand up from a chair walk three meters, turn round, return to the chair and sit down. Looking at the data, here is the NMN PM group for the five times sit to stand test, which had a significantly better result with the largest effect size. 
Moving to the timed up and go test, the result for this group was not significant, but the effect size was the largest of the groups. In their conclusion, the authors write the study showed a significant result from the five times sit to stand test and drowsiness after 12 weeks of NMN. In summary, the study shows that NMN intake in the afternoon is more effective in improving lower limb function and reducing drowsiness in older adults. My takeaway from this is that NMN seem to help with physical performance and drowsiness and taking in the afternoon is okay.